for sympathy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, welcome along today to the Peter Duraxon auction uh, of the property at State Highway 6, uh, Garamio. Uh, newsflash, don't believe everything you hear in Marlborough as far as rumours go, because I understand the McDonald's fast food chain is looking for new set premises for new site. They require high visibility site, prefer a prominent corner with plenty of traffic, established area to expand their drive through, and in State Highway 6 Oak Romeo, I reckon I've got the perfect site. Imagine that, a new concept in pasture to plate. McDonald's Oak Romeo beef burgers, fries grown on the property, and they'll get ex Oakie pub license to do takeaways with. <laughs> It probably won't happen, <laughs> but everything's going on on this Oak Romeo site. Uh, first up, health and safety wise, in the event of uh, earthquake fire, follow Greg down the stairs. Uh, if, you need, if you need a toilet, we have got toilets out to the left, but I'm sure this process won't keep you busting for too long. My name's Joe Blackiston, if you don't already know, I've been assisted with Greg by Greg Lyons. He's done a fantastic job marketing this property. Um, we've made all the documentation available to you and also have the REINZ Best Practice Guide available um, at auction, so make sure I'll take all this stuff as read. Uh, thank our vendor, the estate of Brian Alzell, uh, Paul Gibson, the executor, uh, Taggart family, Wendy and Jeff who are here, Brian's sister, Wendy, and the beneficiaries, uh, the daughters who aren't here, but uh, They've had a strong association with this piece of land and with Brian, our good old mate Brian especially. Uh, so thanks for the opportunity to sell the property, 30 hectares, uh, described as lot 1, DP 400919, and lot 4, DP 12282, and lot 3, DP 400919, on a freehold total 401787 and 401789. Settlement date being 31st of May 2019, and the property will be sold plus GST, if any. Um, I have spoken to all interesting, all interested people regarding the additional clauses which have been added to cover the, um, the vendor and beneficiary sign-off. So the particulars and conditions have been made available, and by being in the room, I take it as that you've read and accept, uh, understood these terms. To declare when you bid, and I accept your bid, it's subject to the following. Subject to the reserve being reached, the highest bidder shall be the winner. I'll nominate bidding increments, and I can refuse a bid, but I don't think there's anyone here I'd refuse a bid from, so that's good. I'll sort out any disputed bids. Uh, the vendor was reserved to re the right to withdraw the property for sale at any stage, and the owners have given me, and only me, a reserve, uh, a written instructions to bid on their behalf. I usually do exercise that right, but my only obligation that is disclosed to you is a vendor bid, and or bidders with the vendor, and it'll be, very, it'll be well below their very, very fair reserve price. If you are the successful purchaser, you'll be required to sign the contract evidencing the sale, pay a deposit, and congratulate, congratulate yourself on being the winner. Now there's no such thing as a silly question at a piece of your rights in auction. Um, has anyone got any questions? No? Silly question. Are the Crusaders going to win the Super 15 and will they be called the Crusaders? Anyway, everybody in Marlborough knows this block. Distinctive shed, the sweeping bend. And once you get to this block coming home, <coughs> you know you're nearly home. I've done the Great Ride a few times and once I go past that block, you're normally pretty happy to see the finish line. It's still a wee way to go. I may dispute you've done a great ride, don't you? <laughs> you don't want to see me in micro, that's what I'm saying. It's grown a variety of crops, small seeds, corn, maize, dairy grazing. It's a blank canvas and two titles. Nothing much more can be said about it. With the whole McDonald's thing going on in the background, now is the time to place your order, ladies and gentlemen. Have I got an opening bid? Opening bid from the floor. You know what to start me off? I'll nominate the increment, so I'm going to start it off. Let you all in, $850,000. and I'll take $50,000 rises. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Nine hundred thousand. Nine hundred. Bid down here. Nine hundred. On firm ground at nine hundred. Going, Owie. Nine hundred. Take your 25s if it helps. Nine hundred. Twenty-five. 
925, 925, 925 in 50, 950, 950, 975, 975, round it up, 975, 975, hold on at 975,000, 1 million in front, 1 million, 1025, keep it coming, 1025 at 1 ,025 dollars Bids out the back, 1 million and 25. 1025. At 1 million and 25,000 going once. 1 million and 25,000 going twice. 1025. All done at 1 million and 25,000 dollars. Can I tempt you for a 10 zoo? 1 million and 25. Your bid. What? What? 1 million and 40. 1040. 1040. 1 million and 40. Round it up to 50. 1 million and 40. Hold on at 1 million and 40. We can take our time. The old burger cook is a bit slow today. 1 million and 40 thousand dollars. At 1 million and 40. Who'll make it 50? 1040. 1 million and 40. First time. Second time. Third and final time at 1 million and 40. Just bear with me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just going to consult with my. Vendors, representatives, so just hold that bid at 1 million and 40, and we'll be back with you momentarily. Thank you. At 1 million and 40 thousand dollars, the property is on the market. I hold the bid down the back at 1 million and 40 thousand dollars. We'll be taking a five thousand dollar rise if it's there, but at 1 million and 40 thousand dollars, the property will be sold. First time at 1 million and 40 thousand. Second time at one million and forty thousand dollars. Third and final time at one million and forty thousand dollars. Looking for a five thousand dollar rise. Going once, twice. Sold one million and forty thousand dollars. <laughs> On behalf of Peter Jurison, thank you very much for your interest in the property. It's been a great, uh, great. Tribute to good old Brian Dalzell, who uh, has been a great friend of Peter Jurison, that we've been allowed to sell his properties, and thanks to Wendy and Jeff for letting us carry through in his memory. Anyway, have a safe trip home, and uh, hope the ducks fly for all you ducks. <laughs>